Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube and fellow metal model builders. I come to you today with a sort of a build but more of a review. The very nice people at YourToyMart.com have kind of donated their tool set to me in this nice pouch that they've put together a custom tool set for me to try out. And it looks like a really nice set. I do have a lot of my own tools, but what I want to do, I'm going to open this up, take a look at what's inside, and then using just the tools in this kit, I'd like to build something and give my thoughts. To the people who have the question of what tools do I need, this may be a really good start. Let's open it up, find out what all is in here, and put something together. Well, first of all, this has a very nice pouch to keep everything. Um, I also understand that a standard size model will fit inside of here, which it certainly looks like it would. There we go. So you could have a model on the go and work on something wherever you are. It's over here, your Toy Mart custom design toolkit for construction of metal earth models. And this gives a listing of the things that are included and post your completed models and pictures on our page. Well, I'm just gonna pull it out and see what's in here rather than read through the list. First of all, we have a pair of tweezers. And these are very similar to the ones that you get with the Iconics models. Yeah, they look like they're just about the same. So we'll open that up here in a minute. We have a lot of things. Let's see. There we go. That's everything all rolled up. If we unroll this. We have needle nose pliers. And they look rather long, which I'm, I'm impressed by, because finding longer ones is difficult to do. We have a step mandrel, which is a wonderful addition. This is great for shaping rounded parts. I have a couple of these. This is the larger size. Um, my first thought here is it would be nice if they included the smaller size as well, but this is something. It's a good start. And then we have professional cutters, flesh cutters, which are extremely helpful when it comes to cu cutting the parts off the trees or off the sheets. And then we have this nice little material here that we can use to cover our workspace while we build. Not a terrible idea. I personally don't see me using this myself, but then again, maybe it would be helpful for finding the parts to each their own. This is really nice that this is included. And depending on where you're working, this could come in very handy. I can see it making the parts easier to find. And I'm gonna fold this back up and we'll more closely examine the rest of the parts. So I've carefully pulled the staples out. Here we have the flesh cutters. So let's slide this open. Check them out. Nice little cover on them to protect them. Yeah, they're spring loaded. Very nice. And hopefully have a sharp enough tip that they will get into the parts. Well, let's see. I have a leftover sheet from the Millennium Falcon with one tiny little part left in it. So let's see. Well, does that get in there? It seems sufficient enough. It seems like the tip is small enough to get in there because here we go. One tiny little piece. And if I compare them to my clippers, these are the ones that, that I use. They open up wider and a bit stiffer and they're smaller in the hand. They have a more pointed tip, but I don't know that that makes a difference. This seemed to work fairly well. I like that it's a little larger and doesn't open quite as wide because this sometimes tries to pop out of my hands when I'm using it. So this looks very, very promising. 
simple short spring action nice not too stiff but not well they are kind of stiff but they're comfortable feeling handles yeah so that's the clippers and a little cover to put them back in so they won't poke a hole in your bag if you're carrying it around that is nice next up we have the long nose pliers and again I've already taken the staples out so we can just slide this open and pop this out there we go and these are spring actioned as well they're nice and long longer than most near those pliers let's compare them to mine they are equally long matter of fact they look extremely similar it has a slight difference these are the fascinations tool set and they're not bad I've used them a lot but they do and it's probably not going to show up on camera they aren't completely even in here and especially when it comes to parts long enough to use this the very tip doesn't always get bent over as well and I don't know if this is going to do better or not it also has a little gap through the center but a little bit towards this end might not be so bad to let the rest of it close up better so this is definitely we're going to have to try this out to see how well it does but I am very excited that they are so long because that really does come in handy to have it that long so two big pluses so far we have the tweezers and let's open those up without dumping them pull a little piece off fairly straightforward we've got a flat angled end which I really appreciate because oftentimes I'm reaching in to grab tabs in the angle so that that works quite well they're not very heavy they seem to be stiff enough now compared to the ones that come in an iconics kit they're very similar less shiny big deal maybe not quite as stiff again is that really a big deal as long as they're sturdy enough to hold the tab while I twist it which shouldn't be asking a lot so very good looking so far and the last tool in the set because there are several things but we have the step mandrel and as you can see this has rounded sections they slowly step smaller and smaller and smaller very very handy for curving a lot of parts I have my own it's actually a little bit longer and larger than mine which could possibly be a good thing there's more space on each section it looks to be pretty well the same diameters though which is good the one thing I do have is a smaller one that's not included in the kit and that is my first recommendation is to have an even smaller one it's nice to have this one you can do a lot with this one but you can do even more with both this one includes the one who's to say they're not going to include more in the future because they are always looking for feedback and I will definitely give mine so these are the major tools and of course you have the sheet to work on and you have the bag to put them in nice zipper bag with even more room in it now since um, I have the tools it packages out it's got a nice zip to it it's got a clip you can clip it on something very nice canvas I believe they have two different kinds of bags of canvas I don't remember if it's two different colors or two different canvas and leather or pleather I'm not sure it's on their website this is the one they sent me very excited to review this I'm very impressed so far with the selection of tools that they've included right now I'm going to focus on these four tools to really do a review I feel like I need to use them so the next thing I'm going to do is build something and I'm going to try and stick with just these tools to see how far I get and see if I can even get by without using anything else I think it's possible I've certainly used less but let's give it a shot let's start with the clippers since they are the first thing you will use they are sharp and comfortable in the hand. For the most part, they fit nicely into the small areas around the tabs. But there was a couple of instances where they are too big and I had to resort to other measures.
For starters, the tweezers excel at twisting tabs, no surprise there. They are also good for adjusting and bending over sections of the model. The angle of the tweezers put the point of the tip in such a position that they can handle some of the smaller parts and folds. However, there were a couple of times I had to resort to my precision tweezers in tight places. The long nose pliers are nice and long and great for evenly bending longer areas. Their reach also come in quite handy to reach some of the tabs, something most needle nose pliers would have been too short for. The step mandrel makes it easy to round parts, and with all those steps being right there, you can carefully move down in size until you find the right one. However, the step mandrel only goes so far before you have to find an alternative. Now that I've had an opportunity to build something with this tool set, let me tell you what I think about it. On off the bat, I'm very impressed. It is a wonderful starter set, and it's a nice selection of tools to use. Let's start with the tweezers. I really like them. They're lightweight, but they're still fairly sturdy. They're kind of wide at the tip, and they have a flat angled edge. They're better than drugstore tweezers. Now, I've, I've went to drugstores or the cosmetic section at a, at a Walmart and gotten the tweezers there and they're, they're thinner or the, you know, the tip is not as wide and they just don't quite work as well as these do. These are a lot like the ones that come in the Iconics kits and I think they're wonderful. Uh, with the angle tip, they're great at getting to tabs at angles. They can hold on to medium sized parts and bend them over so when it comes to doing flaps. They are a great starter set of tweezers if you're just getting started in this and you don't really have anything or if you just have drugstore tweezers because they're not that great. These are better. Now having said that, there are some places these tweezers just won't get. They have an angle tip so they can get into certain areas that would otherwise be hard if they didn't have an angle to it. But there were a couple of times where I just had to resort to precision tweezers or if I didn't have that, maybe some other knife or blade to wedge things open to get these on there. But that's more of a, an advanced sort of tool set right there. So this is still a great place to start. The clippers, I'm really impressed with the clippers as well. I like that they, they, are, they are a little bit larger than the ones I have, and I've kind of already said this. They are more comfortable in the hand. They don't open up extra wide, so they don't want to pop and spring out of my hand like the ones that I currently have do. And I kind of like this little plastic tip that you put over the blade. It helps keep it closed. And with it being a, something you can put in a pouch and carry around, that'll help keep it from poking holes in the pouch or your fingers when you're trying to find it and pull it out. The downside, again, is that they're not very pointed on the tip. They're kind of flat and they're kind of wide. So there are some tight spaces that they have a difficult time getting into and that is a problem that I frequently run into when trying to find clippers that work. The ones from Iconics were fairly pointed and got into most spots. These got into most everything. There was only a couple of spots I had trouble with but it wasn't something I couldn't work around. So for the most part I really love these clippers. I wish they were a little bit more pointed but beyond that they're very comfortable and I really like them. Now that brings me to the long nose pliers. 
I like that they're spring action, they're comfortable in the hand, and with the spring you don't have to pry them back open with your fingers every time you want to use them, so that, that just makes it easier to use. But I really love how very long they are, and I've looked around and finding a set of pliers that are needle nose pliers that have this long of a tip but are still small and thin, well I really haven't found anywhere else, only fascinations and this tool set right here. So that alone is wonderful and a great thing to start with because there's so much you can do these are so versatile and you can there's so many times you run into these long areas that you have to bend over and it can be really tricky to do that without warping things and this makes makes it so you can grab long areas and bend them over more easily and it did seem to grab a hold of things a little bit better than the iconics it's possible that my iconics ones are a little worn out from so much use because they seem like maybe at first they did a little better too. But these are these are great and a great addition to this kit to this tool set. Now lastly, for the tools, we have the step mandrel. And this is another wonderful thing to have. I think it's great that this is included because this will get you a long way into making rounded curved shapes. It even is a little bit tapered sort of, so it can be handy for shaping arms and legs of some of the different models that you get. You just have to be careful about it, but this opens up a lot of possibilities in making a neater, more rounded appearance in the models that you build. And this is just a little bit longer than the one I have, which gives you a little more area on each step. Not a big deal, but something that I noticed. And, and sometimes with my step mandrel, I'll resort to drill bits because I have a longer part and there's just not enough room. But again, as a starter, this is a great place to start. My only gripe, is I would like to see them include the smaller one because there's this this is a larger one and usually you can find a slightly smaller one that kind of picks up right below this size and then goes no excuse me it kind of picks up right below this size and goes down even thinner and I showed you mine with both of those you could do a lot more than just this one larger one now honestly I did not really use the mat it's a nice soft material it's great for keeping the stuff clean. I have a particular setup that I'm accustomed to. I tend to build the models right on top of the instructions. I can see this though making it a little bit easier to find pieces when they fall than trying to look for them on the directions. So maybe I should try and incorporate using a mat when I build the model. So that'll take adjustment for me because I'm just, after a hundred and, and some models, I'm kind of set in the way that I do things. But this is a nice addition. It's a nice clean cloth and I could see it being great for some people in the way that they build. Great if you're on the go because this pouch is kind of an on the go thing where you can lay this down on a table and just work on your model there. Plus if I had a better way to put the instructions so that I can see them I probably would use this more. And then of course you have the pouch that you can store everything in. And the wonderful thing about this is if you expand your tools later on, you'll have room for them in here. And that's nice. This thing comes pretty packed, but everything is still, all the pliers and tweezers are still in their packaging. Once you get that out of the equation, there's extra room. So you can start here. Great place to start. Get a lot done. Maybe add a couple of things down the road and still have room to put in one or two models to take with you somewhere if you have the time, if you're on vacation, if you're taking a road trip and, and you have time to sit and build and nothing to do, well, grab this out of your bag or off of your clip or wherever you have it, pull out your cloth, put it on whatever table you have, pull out your tools and start working. Maybe carry a little box or something with you to put the parts in when you have to stop. Maybe an Altoids tin for some of them larger things you know it's it's a good it's a good travel pouch and I, I really impressed by that and the canvas material it seems to be nicely made now last but not least they did send me the note to let me know they were thinking of including a little polishing cloth to polish up your models when you're done and I think that's a very nice idea I did try to do some polishing myself because fingerprints Fingerprints easily get on these shiny silver models and they're hard to get off. Now, it did help a little bit, but for me, 
it was a little tedious trying to get into so many small areas because these models are small and oddly shaped and this kind of wants to catch on some of the tabs and, and corners and make it a little bit more difficult to rub the areas down. So for a large area like the Zeppelin that I just finished this is pretty good but for small areas like the X-Wing trying to get in between the wings and into spaces it's a little difficult for me to get in there and polish things out. So do I think this is a good idea to include? Well, it's not a bad idea. It's not something that I would probably make use of. I would probably, if it comes to polishing a model, grab some Q-tips or cotton balls and some alcohol and do it that way. But that's just me. So I ask you then, what do you think about the idea of including a little soft cleaning cloth? Do you think it's a good idea? Is it something you would use? I'm sure your Toy Mart would appreciate the feedback on that because Maybe there's something else they can include and the money would be better spent on than this. So there you have it. That is my review for this tool set. Again, I'm, I'm really impressed. I think it was a great starter set. I had high hopes that it would be and I'm not disappointed. It is really nice. And if you're like me and you already have a bunch of tools set up, maybe it's not a way to go. But if you're just starting out, I recommend picking this up. I recommend spending the money if you plan on continuing to do it and this will give you a good portion of the tools you will need, possibly could even build anything you want just with this set. I did build most of the X-Wing just with this. I did have to substitute a couple of things. I pulled out the precision tweezers for some tight spots and I pulled out drill bits for some small curved areas. But beyond that, I put the whole thing together just with this tool set. If you're just wanting one or two of the tools in this set, they also sell those separately at their website. And I can see myself coming back later just to get the long nose pliers. I say that because I have my own set of tools. This was sent to me from your Toy Mart to check out, to review, and to give feedback on. And I'm not going to keep it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give it away. So I'm going to have a little contest. And if you want to find out more about that, go to my Facebook page and check out the contest and giveaway and what you need to do to enter to be eligible for this tool set. And as always, I'm going to end this the same way. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you for watching and keep on keeping on.